Good morning. It's a beautiful day here. It's rained for three days and now it's clear and crisp and fallish and lovely. And there's birds and there's cats. And I'm so grateful. Somebody said nobody ever regrets leaving a cult. And that is 100% true. It was, this is dark, but if it was my destiny to have my life end right now, it would be 100% worth it. 100%. Just to breathe and to connect. And to have the feeling of my my life coming back. And yesterday, I was I'm in I'm in school, and it's hard to explain, but I am so schooly. And yesterday, I read like 15 articles about complex PTSD, and it's 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 the diagnostic category that they most often apply to people who have come out of cults. It's, the, it's a word that's thrown around. So it's the first time I've really studied it. Like, what is complex PTSD? And, um, it's really interesting because I'm not sure that I actually am diagnosable in that category. I mean, certainly there's a PTSD weird experience, but... Depression, deflation, anger, all of it coming out of an abusive relationship, but... But it actually comes down to the scientifically grounded, evidence-based category, blah, blah, blah. I may not have all that stuff. I have dreams. I don't have... I haven't... I had something that felt like anxiety attack, but I, I never really... But, you know, the big thing is... The women that I know who have come out of the group who have been sexually abused that is such a grueling process because they isolate themselves from shame and god knows how many years it takes for them to kind of bring their heads up above the ground so that they can start to see that it wasn't their fault but shit that's a long process so um yeah, sexual abuse by spiritual leaders is causes deep, deep, deep damage. And when the spiritual leader takes zero accountability, that's I mean that that's that's maybe ninety eight percent of the damage. You have nothing reflected back to you, but a powerful person that blames you completely for your conflicted experience. Um, Keith Raniere got 120 years in prison and, you know, we hope that the guru here in town he may never reflect on his behavior, but maybe his behavior will change because he's afraid of consequences. So, but you know, we'll, we'll never again, I'll never again um, enter into that kind of relationship. It's a beautiful day and I'm excited to read incomprehensible articles with statistical analyses around psychological and mental constructs. <laughs> That's what I like to do in my spare time. All right. I love you.